Welcome back to a new video and in today's one we're checking out the Suzuki Franks. Now if you're not too sure what that is then let me try to build a picture for you in your head. Now it's late at night, you've closed the garage and inside there you've left a Grand Vitara and a Bellino. Unsupervised. You then wake up in the morning, you open it up and there it is. They've created something. The Suzuki Franks. It's got the looks of a Grand Vitara up front and it's got all of the practicality and space of a Bellino inside. But best of all is it's got a really cool crossover shape to it that's modern, striking, grabs people's attention. It's a head turner, but the best thing is that it's also bigger than a standard hatchback. So you've got a lot of space in here. And you probably guessed right, it's powered by a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated engine, the bread and butter engine of Suzuki. Which isn't a bad thing it puts out 77 kilowatts and 138 newton meters of torque now on paper that doesn't sound like a lot but when in practice and using it it's actually okay because this car only weighs about a ton so the 138 kilowatts are able to move it around and you are able to drive quite sufficiently with it you do feel a little bit of a struggle when you are driving uphill then this is the five speed manual that i'm testing so i am able to manage the power accordingly and kind of put it to wherever i need it to be i'm currently testing the entry level fronks that you get it's the gl in the manual spec and this sells for 279,900 rand which isn't bad at all considering this car comes with a full leather steering wheel. You get a seven inch infotainment that has Apple CarPlay. It's also got a built-in reverse camera with park sensors. But that's not all. You also get cruise control, heel hold assist, as well as automatic climate control. Now that's not bad for an entry level car that costs 279,000 Rand. And the other reason you're probably looking at or interested in a Suzuki is because of the fuel consumption. And I must say that the fuel consumption I've achieved in this car is really good. Suzuki claims 5.5 as an average. Um, I recently just did a return trip from Joburg to Pretoria and at a constant 120 and slowing down and driving normally, I was able to average 4.8 liters per 100 kilometers. 4.8. And then on my trip home through Santon and the normal suburbs and town driving, I eventually landed up at home sitting on about 5.1 or 5.2. That's under what Suzuki claim. So it's affordable, it's practical, it comes with a lot of standard kit, and it's fuel economic. But what's it like to drive, and is it comfortable? Yes it is. So you do get a full cloth interior, but the seats that they provide for you are actually very comfortable. The only issue that I have with them is you can only move them forward and backwards. You can't lift the seats up or just even move it up and down ever so slightly. And the reason that's a problem for me is because I'm really tall and I feel like I'm looking down at the road and not forward, which is a bit of an issue for me. But you can't have it all if you're paying 279,000 Rand for a car, can you? Well, kind of. If you were shorter than me, then you probably could have it all. And then talking about the full range of Francs that are available, you also get this in a four-speed automatic, which then pushes the price up to 299,000 Rand. But then if you are wanting a little bit more kit, then you can upgrade to the GLX which then sells from 315,000 and then goes up to 335,000 for the four-speed automatic. And the GLX model actually comes with a lot of kits. It's really impressive. So not only do you get everything that comes in the GL, but you're also getting a bigger digital screen in the front of the driver. You're getting a much larger infotainment up to nine inches. You're getting wireless charging. You're getting ambient lighting. You're also getting a push button start. You're getting keyless entry. You're also getting a heads up display as well as a full 360 camera system. And from the outside, you'll also be able to distinguish this from the additional chrome and the different colored roof bar. And as I mentioned, the Franks is a new stylish coupe style crossover. And it looks really good. Let's have a look at it. And then taking a quick look around the interior, it's obviously going to be filled with hard plastics. 
you're not going to get a lot of soft touch materials in here because of the price point but what they've been able to do is give you an array of different textures and finishes yes it's all plastic but you're getting this metal look you're getting this almost leather looking detailed plastic and it's all different colors and different offsets just to give it a little bit more life in here and because this is a budget car you're not even going to get a mirror in your little sun visor it's just a piece of covered cardboard it also only comes with this particular color setup with the bit of black and the maroon and on the doors you also get the maroon and a little bit of cloth which is nice but then there's also added bits of which looks like rose gold which i'm not a fan of i mean maybe i'm just speaking for myself but i would like to have different colors in here even if it's a little bit darker and some grays i think that would be awesome but it's very practical in here so apart from me being able to move the seat up and down i can still find a really good driving position the steering wheel can only also move up and down for me but if you get the glx model you're then able to move it inside and outside as well you've also got quite a bit of storage so here in the gl version where you don't have wireless charging you've got a space down here for storage you've got two cup holders you've also got cup holders in the door here with a little bit of storage not a lot but there's some and you've got quite a decently sized glove box compared to what the car is but the showpiece of the practicality and space are the back seats now i'm very tall and this is in my driving position and i've got all of this legroom back there this is a small little crossover it's got so much room inside that you don't even expect it to have that when you look at it from the outside it's really surprising so let's run through it again it's affordable it's practical it's comfortable it's light on fuel but you also get a lot of peace of mind so this car comes with a five-year 200,000 kilometer warranty as well as a four-year 60,000 kilometer service plan so are you still wondering if you can afford this car well let's have a quick look at the breakdown of the cost of ownership so it goes without saying that i really do like this car it's probably one of the better cars that I've reviewed this year, just in terms of overall package and what it offers, which makes my GDR test kind of expected. So should you get the car? Should you just go drive the car and test drive it? Or should you remove it from the list of cars that you're looking at? And this is an easy one. Go and get it. Now, before you rush off to Suzuki to go get yourself one, go check one out on changecars.ca.za. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about Change Cars. Now, Change Cars is a website where you can buy new and used cars. But the difference is they vet every single dealership that sells cars on their website. They're also approved by all the automotive manufacturers as well as Discovery Insure. So you know that the car you're getting is of great quality. And they're a proud partner of Greg Dennis Reviews. Thanks for watching another Greg Dennis Review. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please will you drop a like below. I hope you learned a little bit more about the Suzuki Franks. And if you want to learn a little bit more about other cars and other car content, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I put out videos every week and I'm sure that you'll enjoy them. So until then, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.